What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing this evening? Welcome to a new episode of Cinetober and... Look, guys, be very quiet. good we have no idea what's been what, what that was but I'm telling you the other world's been hitting us pretty hard we're back in the land of Silent Hill for some odd reason Silent Hill comes after me I don't know why but I guess <sighs> while we're seeing if the coast is clear we'll stay in here with the door locked and we'll review another awesome movie that actually stars one of my favorite childhood actors from my childhood Will Smith we are going to be doing his version of I am legend yes. now I'm just gonna say overall whew, I like this movie, and I have reviewed the book, and actually we're going to go into some spoiler territory with this movie, and I'm, actually, I'm also going to be answering any questions that he might have about the book, and I'm going to even go into some stuff about what I liked about the movie, what they did differently in this movie, and talk about what I liked a little bit more in the book. So if you do not want to know what happens in this movie, or in the book, you're you gonna can. you're gonna want to have to leave. Yes, and you can go join Pyramid Head outside if you like. Yeah, I don't know why he's following us. I don't have any problems with women. I, I don't get it. I okay. don't get it either. All right. So, for those who don't know, I Am Legend is the movie about Robert Neville, who is the only surviving person left in Manhattan, who is basically trying to fix everything that has happened with mm -hmm. a virus that is known as the Crippen virus that they basically thought was a cure for cancer, but it backfired and wiped out almost half the human race. Yes. Somehow. And one thing that I will recommend, and I was talking to you about this earlier, when we were watching the movie, when I watched an, um, another YouTube video, they talked about the stuff that Will Smith had to do to get mentally prepared for this role. Yeah. He isolated himself for months. Oh, man. Kind of like, like kinda... actually made himself go crazy. Oh, wow. Kind of like what Keith Ledger did yeah. to himself trying yeah. to get ready for the Joker. Yeah, except like with Will Smith, he was actually... He, he, but he, but he didn't lock himself like in an asylum or yeah. in a hotel room. He just like isolated. Himself. He isolated himself and put himself in that mindset. And that's yeah. also for those who don't know, that's actually method acting, which actually that is a very fun thing of acting to do, but is also kind of dangerous. But he made himself, made it, he did this to himself to get prepared for the role to feel like he was mentally alone and just him. And showing the side effects of going of going crazy when you're completely isolated, like with Jack Nicholson in The Shining, except you know he wasn't trying to kill his entire family. Okay, so the things that I liked about in this movie was I kind of liked how they did the virus, yeah, because the virus in the book was well, the virus in the book was kind of like a nature thing. Whereas in this, it was mm. created by man in the origin in the book and in the movie. Well, they don't really discuss it in the movie, but they discuss in the book that there's a wind that keeps coming by. Kind of like the happening. Kind of, except it wasn't trees that were killing people. Yeah. Like this was just like a disease yeah. that was coming through. Oh, yeah. And it turned almost the same concept. Almost, except okay. this one was kind of like a nature thing. Instead of it being the hands of man, which it being the hands of man, I kind of do like a little better. Yeah. A little bit. But, like, the thing is, the one of the reasons that I actually, that works actually really good in the original is the whole thing, like, with his wife and kid dying. Yeah. It's not just bad that his wife and kid dies. Yeah. He buries his wife, and then she comes back to life and comes to kill him, and he has to kill her again. Oh, snap. And, like, the thing, like, oh, the, the whole thing, like, with I Am Legend is they're all vampires. 
Yes. And, but they're kind of also like zombies. They're not like these raging monster things. And that's one of the things I honestly didn't like about the movie was the CG. I honestly just don't understand like, why they couldn't have actors do it. And also the CG for the animals was bad. Well, yeah, the animals I get. The, yeah. Because that you could just like had like live animals in there and uh, yeah. try to do that. Or at least make the C, at least have the CG actually look really good and yeah. look like an actual animal instead yeah. of being able to tell, oh yeah, that's clearly CG. Yeah. But like the thing was like Robert Neville, and another thing that I did like in the book, he wasn't a, he was kind of a scientist. But he didn't know as much as he did, and so in the book, he's studying and trying to figure out how he can cure it. Yeah. Whereas in the movie, he's already a scientist, which I actually kind of did like. I did like how they gave us the whole entire thing of New York, how they turned it into Will Smith's playground, yeah. and how it made you feel like you were there with him. It exactly. felt, it felt, it felt they creepy. Did. You felt yeah. isolated. They did an excellent job with the atmosphere they and did. the tension. They, they really did. Especially the tension. However, there was one part, I can't remember, like, there's like a part of the movie that I kind of don't like, and I think it's the, I think it might have to be the climax, just because of, like... What part's the climax, exactly? Like... Because there were many climaxes. There, there, there were. <laughs> I, I need to be more specific. I guess, like, kind of towards, I guess, the end, I guess. Ending? No, I no, I like the ending. Oh yeah, but well, which one? And just true. so you guys know, there are two alternate endings to this. Film. Yeah, the edition that I have actually it does come with two. It comes with two endings, but the other ending kind of defeats the whole point of yeah. the movie. Yeah. And the whole thing, like with him, it being called "I Am Legend," he's legend because he in himself is taking down the vampires. He's mm -hmm. wiping out their race. Yeah, and they're terrified of him. So they actually yeah. find him and execute him. Yeah. And he's legend because at the end of the in the book and in the movie, he's on a church dying and he says, They were afraid of me, I didn't know. And then he dies. Hmm. And the whole entire world is taken over by vampires afterwards. And the thing is, like, what also makes it tough, like with the creatures, and like I didn't mind like the creatures were what they were, but it was it kind of hit more personal mm -hmm. that most of the vampires were his friends. Hmm. And like ones like that would keep like knocking on his doors, trying to trick him to come out and trying to kill him. And like they would even have in the book, they would have girl vampires go up and like show him the like, parts of their body to try to get huh. him to come out. Really? And it was like it was de it was depressing. It huh. was it was it was it, I don't know, but like the book is very interesting. I strongly recommend that you guys read the book. Oh yeah, the movie. I don't mind Will Smith playing this role. I think he did a very good job. Oh, Will yeah. Smith is a very good actor. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite roles from him. That and him playing J.M. in Black. Mm -hmm. Now the things that I didn't like besides the CG. <clears throat> um. Mm. Well. The the thing with um, him being found by the woman now they did switch that around mm. because in the book he does find another he does find another person mm -hmm. and he does go crazy when he sees this person yeah but he start he put he tests he does tests on her and he finds out she doesn't like garlic and that that's actually one thing they they wipe they like they got rid of the whole vampire thing completely. With, yeah, which I'm, they did. Yeah, and they called them. They called dark, them like there's many like multiple names. Dark seekers. Dark seekers or something. I think like they're called because I, I remember I watched a WatchMojo.com video and they called them something else. But the whole entire thing was like, what was and what was really interesting was each vampire was different. Each one of them had a yeah. different weakness, but it depended on their religion and what they mm. believed. So like some of them will be afraid of crosses, some of them will be afraid of garlic, some of them will be afraid of, would be afraid of their own reflection. But like the thing was, with that girl finding him, she was a vampire, and mm. he figured it out, and she was basically giving him a chance to leave before her people came and got him to kill him. Yeah. And so like I guess like I like I like I like the movie. I think it's a good film. It's oh, yeah. got suspense. It's got some good jump scares. They especially make yeah. it feel creepy when there's a moment when he's in complete darkness and he's trying to wander around and it's uh, just terrifying. In, in an abandoned part in an apartment that's abandoned. New York honestly just feels like it's terrifying. It makes you feel 
it, life. It can. It, re it can. It really does. It can really make you feel terrified at some points, especially if you're walking in the streets at night. Yeah, in and Manhattan. Like, and like the fact, like they did, like the thing was, like they showed Will Smith with when he was going crazy yeah. with the whole entire. See, I, I have a paranoia of mannequins, and actually, it's because of Silent Hill because of that. Okay. But the whole entire thing, like he, he was trying to keep himself from going insane. That he actually set up mannequins around the city so he would have mm -hmm. someone to talk to. Yeah. And when he seen one of the mannequins being moved, that made him nuts. That made him start questioning what was really what was real and what was not and I thought yeah. that that was done very well another thing with the dog now I did like how they had him having the dog earlier and that was actually a dog that they owned and he just he kept it but the thing is in the in, in the book it was actually a dog that was uh, attacked by vampires and was dying and he had to look for it he had to do anything he could just to find a friend yeah. And then when the dog dies, it completely crushes him. Oh, yeah. And it completely crushes him in this movie, too, because, like, that was his only friend. That was his only mm -hmm. companion. And then when he has to bury the dog, he starts going up to a new mannequin or something, and, like, he just starts breaking down because he's like, you know, I promised my friend that I would say hello to you. Please talk to me. And, like, you just, like, you just feel sorry for him. Yeah. And then, like, when he finally comes into contact with new people he kind of doesn't know how to act mm -hmm. or, or because like he doesn't he's not used to human contact anymore and it takes him a while and then when he finally does you get to the gist of what he's trying to like throughout the whole entire movie they explain that he's still trying to find a cure so he can finally move on but he never does no he doesn't and the alternate ending shows that he has, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the title. Exactly. I think they just added an alternate ending in personally, just to give the audience a happy ending. Yeah. But, like, the thing, like, look, this isn't a bad remake. It's it actually, isn't. it's it's decent. I like the original. I like, I'm like, the original's not bad. It's got Vincent Price. You can't beat Vincent Price. <laughs> but, like, I just only recommend watch this movie. Oh, yeah. It is good. It's oh, yeah. it's enjoying. It's it's got good. It's got good emotional scenes. It's got mm -hmm. good heart wrenching scenes, especially when he watches his family die. Oh yeah, right in front of him. But like, I feel like if they had stuck with the vampire thing, mm -hmm. it would have been more. Because mm -hmm. like in the in the movie and in the book, like they talk about like, well, why hasn't she gone to school today? She hasn't left the bed. I'm starting to feel weak. And then the fact of of him having to put his wife down and mm -hmm. then her get, rising from the grave and coming mm -hmm. back and him having to kill her again that has to be like that would have made the audiences probably cry even more oh yeah like the things that make this movie scary or at least to me are the fact that like you feel like you're in an isolated place like you mm -hmm. feel alone you feel like something you just feel mm -hmm. You feel alone, and you feel... And you feel trapped. Yeah. And Being like, the only man practically alive yeah. in a big city like New York, it's going to make you crazy. It's going to make you paranoid. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Will Smith did such a good did a good job with this character, I liked him as Robert Neville. Mm -hmm. The fact that he went to good, great depths to get into the mindset of this character of mm -hmm. being the only man left alive and being afraid of the dark now one thing i didn't know was, was when i first watched the movie i didn't know why he was afraid of the dark i didn't even know he knew the creatures existed but after i watched the original in the original he goes into a monologue about like how he's got to kill them and so like he's like got garlic all over the house mm -hmm. and stuff like that and he rummages through the city to like get gas and stuff like that mm -hmm. it, it's a good movie i would get, honestly give this movie maybe a b plus this is a, it's an underrated movie Mm. Will Smith is a good actor. All the people who act in this movie do a good job. I honestly wish that they had not used CG for the creatures and mm -hmm. actually had hired real people to do yeah. it. And it would have made it more believable and it would have made it more... It would have... I think it would have honestly just like made it more believable. And... Yeah. It's kind of like well, the CGI in the Garfield movie. You know nothing's there. Well, I mean, with... With some of the scenes where they did close-ups, um, you could tell that they used a little bit of human act.
acting there when they yeah. show the close ups. Mm -hmm. But I understand. I can mean I can see your point on how you know when they're running up to attack the house, yeah. you can tell that it's complete CGI. Oh yeah, yeah. And like instead of instead of Robert being a, a scientist in a lab, him being a military person, adding that to his background, you know, like giving him all this like di like giving him a different backstory, a different background. When like he's trying to save everybody and he realizes that he can't and he can't save his own wife, that's heart wrenching. That is, and especially like when he when him and his like they do flat like the flashbacks in this movie are good they are the flashbacks are good they're done they have a purpose they're not cheap they right. are they provide good things to the story and they bring it all <clears> together <throat> all in all mm -hmm. like i said i would give i am legend a, uh i would give i am legend a b to a b plus uh put in the comments below what do you yeah. think about I Am Legend. What is your favorite uh, part of I Am Legend? Do you like the book? Do you like the Vincent Price version? Do you like The Last Man on Earth? There's actually quite a different, few different remakes of this movie, actually. Oh. Yeah. But guys, I hope that you're enjoying Cine oh, October yeah. Season 3, and we dodged Pyramid Head. Yes, somehow. we did. Hopefully I don't find a mannequin outside of my, our room tonight. Oh, hopefully not. No, because that would be bad. I don't want to have more nightmares. Mm -hmm. Guys, have a good day and get ready for Halloween when we will eventually journey into the movie of Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. But next, our next stop is Amityville. Oh, yes. Have a good day, guys.